The line formed in front of the long face of the barn, under a latticework of tree limbs, limbs etched into the sky, into memory, limbs giving way to slight leaves, non-committal on a cold, cloud-filled morning, formed to the left of the ox cart, clumps of manure still waiting to be shoveled, spread in the field. Inside the bookshelf sagged under the weight of his work. My fingers stuttered over their spines until I reached the stairs to the second floor. The stairs with the orange shag carpet, the carpet punctuated with mouse droppings, remnants of unrelenting revision, commas and semicolons and periods that anchored what once was, what was unneeded, like the hot air rising from the registers in the floor, despite all the bustling bodies, red-faced as they moved from room to room, picking things up, putting them down, bagging what they wanted. I just wanted him back at his desk, pad of paper within reach, pen in hand. Just wanted Jane upstairs in her office, glasses in place, fingers poised above the typewriter's keys. So I let myself out, stepped off the porch, followed the line to its unceremonious end.